What's up? Welcome to Little Silicon. I'm Maddie, and just like you, I'm curious about the value of the NZXT build kits. NZXT has been offering pre-built gaming rigs for a little while now, but the new NZXT build kits are a complete kit of parts for you to put together yourself. But you still get a full two-year warranty covering the whole system just like you would with the pre-built. As of right now, they only have two build kits to choose from. They have the Starter Pro build kit for $1,400 or the Streaming Plus build kit for $1,600. I ordered the Streaming Plus build kit. Okay, so the Streaming Plus build kit includes an AMD Ryzen 5 5600X, an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti, 16 gigabytes of Team Group T-Force Vulcan Z DDR4 3200 MHz memory, a one terabyte PCI Express 3.0 M.2 NVMe SSD, an NZXT H510 case, a B550 ATX motherboard, an NZXT Kraken M22 CPU cooler, a 650 watt bronze rated power supply, Windows 10 Home Edition pre-installed on the SSD, and a two year warranty on the whole system. Okay, so as you can see here, they don't list what brand you'll get of graphics card, storage, motherboard, or power supply. It's here now, so I'm gonna unbox it and see exactly which parts I got and then compare it to what NZXT said I would get. And once I know exactly what parts I have, I'm gonna search online and see if 1600 bucks is a good value for the kit that NZXT is providing. Here we have the motherboard. All right, we got some Windows information, some accessories for the motherboard, and we have the MSI B550-A Pro. This is the extensive guide that NZXT provides for your PC building adventure. This thing is actually pretty nice. This is a list of all the parts and the tools you'll need to build your kit. Now for what I really wanted to know is, what graphics card am I getting in my build kit? And I got the ASUS KOWIN Overclocked Edition. Here is the tool kit that they include with the kit. This is a pretty cool looking little case. Wow, I actually have some uh, pretty nice looking tools here. You even got a little keychain flashlight. Uh, these are your bits some zip ties and got a pretty nice looking driver and even some wire cutters now in this box we have a PCIe Wi-Fi adapter really nice to have I don't think that was mentioned in the uh, list of parts online and uh, here is the 16 gigabytes of Team T-Force Vulcan Z and here is our AMD AM4 CPU this is the Ryzen 5 5600X and this is our NVMe SSD which is the WD Blue SN550 now this is the NZXT Kraken M22 120mm liquid cooler for keeping the 5600X nice and cool, hopefully. And finally, let's see what power supply I got. This is the NZXT C650 modular PSU, that's nice. And this is actually 80 plus gold rated and NZXT only promised a bronze rated power supply, so also nice. All right, so first off, this is the total amount I paid for the Streaming Plus build kit. $15.99 base price, $98.94 tax, and $50 shipping for a total of $1,747.94. Okay, so I've already put everything in PC Part Picker, and I'm going to go through this and, and see what kind of value we get going with the NZXT build. All right, so for the CPU, I got the Ryzen 5 5600X. This is the cheapest price in stock. Yes, cheapest price in stock, 309. And for the CPU cooler, I got the NZXT Kraken M22. Cheapest one in stock, 
All right, and for the motherboard in the kit, we got the MSI B550-A Pro ATX motherboard. And the cheapest one in stock is from Newegg for $110 after a $10 mail-in rebate. For the memory, Team T-Force Vulcan Z 16 gigabytes DDR4 3200 CL16. You can get it from Amazon or Newegg for the same price of $61.97. For the storage, we got the Western Digital Blue SN 551 terabyte. And the cheapest price in stock is from Newegg for $84.99 with a $10 off promo code. I'm gonna skip the video card for now, go to the case. Of course, we got the NZXT H510. I got the white one. The cheapest one in stock is from Amazon for $74.98. We got a nice surprise with the gold certified power supply from NZXT. This is the NZXT C650 watt 80 plus gold certified fully modular power supply. The cheapest one in stock is from Amazon at $119.99. All right, now I included Windows on here because Windows did come with the build kit. Cheapest price I found is $108.78. But you know, uh, there's ways to get a Windows key a lot cheaper than that. And the build kit also came with this MSI AC905C Wi-Fi adapter. Amazon has it in stock for $23.42. All right, now back to the graphics card. Now, of course, you know you can't find any graphics cards in stock right now, but when I searched for the ASUS KO Overclocked Edition 3060 Ti, this is the only price that comes up, which is $589.99. So that's the price I'm going to include. And that brings our total to $1,583.09, minus $10 for a promo code and a further $10 for a mail-in rebate, bringing the total down to $1,563.09. And apparently everything I found has free shipping if you have Amazon Prime. But you're still going to be paying over $90 in tax. So we'll say the total price would be about $1,650. And if you want to go with the price of this GPU in stock right now, then the cheapest I found is $840 with free shipping from some dude on Mercari. Which would bring our total to $1,813 and 10 cents before taxes. Oh, and for comparison, NZXT's Streaming Plus PC that is pre-built by them instead of you having to build it is $200 more than the build kit for the same parts. And this one actually comes with slightly slower RAM. In my opinion, the NZXT Streamer... Streamer Plus? Streaming Plus? Streaming Plus. In my opinion, in these hard times, the NZXT build kit is a great value. Let me know what y'all think about it down in the comments. And I'm going to see if my 15 year old son who's never built a computer before can use NZXT's manual and put this thing together. So get subscribed if you want to see that. Smash that thumbs up button on your way out and thank you for watching. Stay safe and have fun.